Good evening ladies and gentlemen, Isaiah Warlock here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to sound like the hip-hop artist, um, scream rapper, trap metal artist, Zillikami. So make sure you watch the whole video because I'm going to be showing you several different vocal techniques to sound like Zillikami and also how to mix your vocals afterwards to sound like him. And right before we jump into it, please consider subscribing. It's free. You can unsubscribe whenever you want, so you might as well, and it helps me out a whole lot. Also, a huge percentage of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So once again, if you do enjoy my videos, just don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so Zillikami is actually quite unique in his vocal delivery. And the reason for that is in trap metal and scream rap, you don't really see his vocal technique because what he does is a form of sing screaming. And you really only see sing screaming in you know metalcore and hardcore with bands like Linkin Park, Bring Me the Horizon, sometimes Slipknot, you know that side of things. But you rarely see sing screaming come into the more trap, trap metal side of things. And so Zillikami is using techniques that these other bands would use, but rather than trying to belt really high notes, he more stays in his mid and lower range while still using the same technique to get that distortion in his voice. Upon listening to Zillikami, you might be tempted to just kind of grunt and get the sound from just your natural vocal cords, which, which is what we tend to do naturally to try to get that kind of sound. But in reality, that's gonna cause you to lose your voice really fast. And it's also not really gonna even give you the correct sound. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, not sorry. You might be tempted to just kind of go in that direction and that's using my actual vocal cords. And for one, that doesn't really sound like Zillikami all that much. And two, that's gonna wear out my voice really quickly. In reality, the technique that Zillikami uses is actually the same technique as a lot of sing screamers in metalcore and hardcore would use. And I'm gonna teach you how to use that technique right now. And it sounds a bit like this. Yeah! Jump them down, one dog, let them all off! All out, one till you get them gold off! So, okay, so that's a lot closer to the sound that we're going for. And what's great about this technique is you can do it forever. It doesn't fatigue your throat or your vocal cords or anything. And it's a lot easier to switch notes and to sing kind of melodies. Um, because if you notice, that's what Zillikami does. He is singing melodies in all his songs. He's not really rapping. He's, it's much closer to singing just with this kind of distortion with this kind of yell on top of it. So I will now show you just a few easy steps to achieve this sound. The number one most important thing if you're trying to sound like this is compression. And if you don't know what compression is, it's basically, if you imagine like a tank of gas or just like a, a tank of anything that's compressed, it has lots of pressure inside, that's what you're doing inside your lungs with air, okay? So you're gonna bring in air to your lungs and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do two things. You're gonna use your diaphragm to push the air that's in your lungs up so it wants to come out, but you're also gonna use your vocal cords in your voice box to not let it out you're going to close off the air so it can't escape and then you're going to push even harder with your diaphragm and that's just going to pressurize all the air on your lungs so that when you do let some of the air out it's going to come out very high pressure and it's going to rattle around some of that cartilage in your upper throat up here and it's going to create that distortion sound now as far as the name for this technique it gets kind of blurry um i've heard it referred to as voice with distortion i've heard it referred to as like soft palate distortion and I've also just heard it referred to as like sing screaming. It's definitely not fry. If you can do a fry scream, that's great. But it, this is a very, very different technique than fry. And if you try to use fry with this, you're not going to get the correct sound. It's also not false chord because false chord, as you probably know, is, is atonal. It doesn't usually have a pitch to it, notes to it, right? Because if you put that in, that's going to mess up your vocal cords. But this technique is designed specifically so that you can kind of do the sing scream and sing different melodies with the scream as well. So once again, you're, you're going to want to get this compression started. And the way to do that is if you just kind of tighten up your abs and all this, you're going to kind of feel your, your diaphragm in here. Your diaphragm is right here underneath your ribs. It's a muscle, okay? And that's what controls how you breathe, and that's what pushes air out of your lungs, okay? So you're gonna, if you just kind of take in a lot of air, and then just kind of uh, flex your abs and flex all the muscles in this area, and that's gonna flex your diaphragm as well, this happens. 
okay? You, it forces air out of your lungs really fast. So you wanna get used to um, flexing your diaphragm. Figure out where it is and make sure, ha, 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 make sure you can control it. So once you can control your diaphragm and push air out with a lot of force, the next step is to shut your throat off using your vocal cords. And it's actually really easy to do that. All you have to do is imagine that you're lifting up a really heavy weight and you're gonna make this sound, right? That's your vocal cords, which are like this in your throat, shutting like that and just closing all the air off so no air can escape. Okay, so first you're gonna take a deep breath and then you're gonna shut it off and then with your diaphragm, you're gonna, you're gonna push it and already you can start to hear some of that distortion coming in and that's just gonna come in naturally. When you, and then you push it really hard, Okay, so that's how it's gonna sound at the beginning. Now, I've heard some people who teach you how to do fry screams, they say that you have to um, shut your vocal cords off and do something similar to this. Um, my personal technique, which I do fry screams with, you don't actually have to shut off your vocal cords. But, so you might shut off your vocal cords if you're doing fry, but just, you have to understand that it's not related to fry. So don't get confused to think that this has something to do with fry, because it's a really a different technique. Okay, so once you're there, you can control how tight your vocal cords are, and this is just something you have to practice and develop on your own. But if you can control how tightly they're shut, you can control how much air you let through and how loud the sound is gonna be, right? So it's co completely shut off, obviously you can't make any sound. But if you loosen them a little bit, you can sound like this, and then a little bit more, and then you'll hear that, that kind of rasp coming in naturally, and you have to keep the, dis the, the compression going so that you have the distortion. But pretty soon you can just kind of try to sing. It's kind of a mid note like this. Yeah! And you'll, and you'll have that sound ready to go, right? Yeah! And this just takes practice and you'll, get, and you'll get used to it. But it just, honestly, this takes maybe a week of practice and it's a pretty easy technique to develop. Yeah! Sorry, not sorry! Chop them down, war dogs, let them all off! All out war till you get them gold off! Roar! Yeah! 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 So as I said, this is pretty much the same technique that bands like Linkin Park and Bring Me The Horizon use. So this is actually a really good starting point if you want to get to that sound as well. It's the same technique, just what those bands do is they belt really high notes. But what Zilokami does is, as I said, he stays in his more kind of a mid and lower range. So once you've mastered this technique and figured out how to do this with your voice, you're probably going to want to know how to mix these type of vocals. The good thing is the mixing for these kind of vocals is really, really easy. It's basic level stuff. And the reason for that is there's not really any effects that Zilakami uses that change his voice all that much. He just kind of uses the standard effects that any trap metal artist or, or even hip hop artist would use. So I'll be showing you this in Audacity. You can do this in any DAW, but Audacity is completely free and a lot of people already have Audacity. I'm just gonna show you how to use two different effects that are gonna make these vocals sound a lot more professional and a lot more like Zilakami. The first one is distortion you're probably going to want to use some overdrive distortion and you, and you really don't want to overdo it. There are some trap metal artists who use a ton of distortion and that's their sound, but that's really not the case with Zilakami. He just uses a little bit of overdrive distortion just to make the vocals stand out in the mix a bit, just to give them a little bit more bite. The second effect you are going to use is reverb. Now again, you really don't want to overdo it on the reverb because this is because it could make it sound really weird, but just a little bit of reverb will make it sound a lot more professional. So there you go guys, that is how you sound like Zillakami, both with your voice and also as far as mixing. Thank you guys a ton for watching the whole video, I really appreciate it, I hope you found this information useful. As I said, make sure you subscribe because as of right now, I'm going to be putting out three videos a week, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you can see all of them. I'm Isaiah Warlock, thank you for watching and goodbye.